Welcome back, Wolfpack, to the channel. In today's episode, we are going to be checking out Evergreen Grove. Now, but we are going to be starting at Bannermist Tower. Just right here on the map. Right next to Falkreath. There it is there. Now, the reason we are starting with Bannermist Tower, uh, one is because I'm doing the Arl Sidgear a favor. And two, this location is not really worth doing a um, a walkthrough on, or or it's not enough to do a walkthrough on on a video. Headshots! Come on, killing. Bye. Mm. All right. That's that quest out of the way. But yeah, the, the reason I wanted to show you this location is because there's a few things in this place that I wanted to show you guys. Like this chest. Your mushrooms. Oops. Amulet of Kings. Great book if you wanted to know about Chim L. Adabal. And then uh, Advances in Lockpicking, which I am going to pick up and read. Some tanning racks if you wanted to. No worries. But this is not the location, nor the time, nor the place. Why did I do, do this? But yeah. So now we are going to go to Evergreen Grove, which is just right over here. Now we are actually starting from an unmarked location. Let me see if I can find it. Now, this location is unmarked on your map, so, you know, if you can find it. Um, Derarum Dorinus. Ooh, alchemy. Now, this location obviously has a little bit of a backstory, and you're probably wondering, why is there an abandoned camp in here? Well, if we read the Alchemist Journal, setting up camp here was... Near this mushroom grove. Interesting. Interested in seeing what exactly is causing their enchanted enhanced growth in this area. Today, I'll be heading out to see what kind kind of effects the mushrooms and nearby Nernrood are having on the ecosystem in downstream. Well. As you can see, there's a bunch of Nernrood here in this location. And it's probably, I, I think this is like one of the very few locations where Nernrood actually grows in bunches instead of actually, um, instead of actually going out of their way to, um, well, you know, instead of growing individually.
mud crab just flo flo floated out of thin air. Now, as you can see, must kill this mud crab. I missed. I kill this brigand. Oh, oh, get Rex on. Come on. All right, let's go down here. <clears throat> Here we find the dead alchemist. She had death bell on him, no more root. So this location is obviously filled with spriggans. Mom, Fraj, make sure you pick up all these ingredients. Okay, spriggan sap. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that location, guys. So obviously, the uh, alchemist, I think, pretty sure, came from the alchemist shack because there's a location here, right around this area, this little where my cursor is, and he came, walked around, and that and that's actually another location, um, which I will eventually do. Um, kind of a backstory of that. And basically, if you go to the Alchemist Shack, you'll find that this Alchemist left a journal note, and then, yeah. And then he went to Evergreen Grove and everything like that, so. But yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I hope this video helped you guys out um, in terms of Anyways. But yeah, so uh, anyways, I hope you, this video helped you guys out. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a fantastic day, guys. Bye-bye.